LeBron James fans might not believe. Y'all gonna call it cat, but my true NBA fans know this. Once upon a time, NBA media relentlessly criticized Michael Jordan, labeling him a ball hog, a perpetual loser. They insisted that to secure a championship, he must learn to trust his teammates. Despite the impressive scoring records, Jordan faced playoff defeats year after year. Unlike LeBron James, who succumbed to the media pressure, Jordan chose not to assemble superstar alliances. Part one in this video delves into the stark contrast and how Jordan and James achieved their first championship. Jordan facing adversity, earning his through traditional means, while James opted for what some consider the chump route, succumbing to external pressure. Jordan's Odyssey, overcoming setbacks to NBA greatness. In the perpetual debate between Michael Jordan and LeBron James, it's crucial to dissect the unique journeys that catapulted East legend to NBA immortality. Contrary to the perception that Jordan's early years were a breeze, his narrative embodies unwavering resilience. Jordan's rookie season, 84-85, made a profound impact on the Chicago Bulls, earning him the rookie of the year despite a modest 38-44 record. The playoff introduced Jordan's postseason legacy, averaging 29, six rebounds and eight and a half assists, but the setback followed losing in the first round four games to the Milwaukee Bucks. Fast forward to the 85-86 season, where a broken foot limited Jordan to 18 regular season games. Yet when he returned, he led the Bulls to the playoffs. However, they were swept by the Boston Celtics. Jordan averaged 43.7 points per game in that series against the Celtics. The 86-87 season, the Bulls, they went 40-42, and swept by the Celtics again. The pivotal 87 draft, Scotty Pippen and Horace Grant was brought in, hopefully laying the foundation for a bright future. Entering the 87-88 season with Pippen and Grant as rookies, the Bulls went 50-32. and Despite Jordan's brilliance with the rookie, they faced defeat in the Eastern Conference Semis to the Detroit Pistons. The 88-89 season, Jordan led Chicago to the Eastern Conference Finals. His heroics weren't enough as the Bulls fell yet again to the Detroit Pistons. In the 89-90 season, the young core, Jordan, Pippen, and Grant showcased promise, but fell short again in the Eastern Conference Finals to the Detroit Pistons, but this time in seven games. The 1990-91 season marked the accumulation of growth. And in seventh season, Jordan led the Bulls to a 61-21 record sweeping the Pistons in the Eastern Conference Finals, triumphing over the Lakers in the NBA Finals, a traditional, a traditional championship earned through perseverance and collective growth. In contrast, LeBron James' journey involved assembling super teams, notably teaming up with Dwayne Wade and Chris Paul to secure his first championship. While both paths led to greatness, Jordan's saga stand at a testament enduring challenges, overcoming adversity, and growing with his team, an odyssey that undeniably defines NBA greatness.